I'm building y'all a better place for these eggs, I promise. So I'm getting really down to the minor details on this chicken house now. In the last video you saw we got all of the walls up, all of the siding is up, and now we got to do something with the windows, doors, and well I'll just show you. Here's what's got to be done. This has got to have a door on it. It's going to come down like this so I can reach into the nesting boxes and get the eggs. Both of these doors of course have to have doors on them. And right now what I'm about to work on is kind of the simplest thing is putting wire in these windows right here and eventually they'll have shutters on them as well but right now I'm gonna go ahead and put wire in it so let's go ahead and do that this is the wire here that I'm gonna use for the screen on the windows this is the old chicken coop and uh, it just makes sense kind of to salvage this wire here and we're not using this chicken coop anymore because uh, a few reasons it's not set up very well to be a chicken coop pretty close to the house and we don't really like the smell going into the house or going towards the house so uh, it just makes more sense to build another one somewhere else and kind of salvage the materials from this one. This actually was never designed to be a chicken house. My dad built this for me when I was probably uh, six, seven, eight years old. I'm not sure. And it was originally designed to be a playhouse where I could come out and just hang out. Uh, it eventually became kind of a storage house for my toys when I was little. And uh, then I turned it into a chicken house once we moved over here and uh, it was an okay chicken house, but this one that we're doing now is going to be a big upgrade because this was never meant to be a chicken house. I've also been thinking a lot about how to attach the screen to, or the wire rather, to these windows. And last night you seem to get your best thinking done when you lay down to go to sleep and right before you get to sleep. But it came to me that I could probably just take the trim off and sandwich the wire between the trim and the window frame. And I think that would work just fine. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's not gonna work so good. So the problem that I'm having is when I try to pry this off, it pushes the inside in really bad. So I'm thinking if I take the sides off first, I'll be able to pry against the frame instead of, or the studs rather, instead of this. Let's try that. Oh yeah, there we go. Didn't cut this one quite wide enough. So that's got that. Uh, one of my concerns about this is that this wire would be just a little bit flimsy, but it's not. Between the staples and these holding it on, I think it'll be great. The biggest downside uh, of doing it that way is, of course, I had to re-hit uh, these nails right here, and it left a lot of mule tracks on it. So that's um, really not a big deal, except it doesn't look that great. But either way, that's three windows screened in. Let's do some doors.
back in. No, I don't want you in there. Why? Because if this falls, it'll kill you. See, like that. Mm. In fact, why don't you go play in your sandbox until I'm done? Okay. okay. I think it looks great, except I put the hinges on the wrong side of the door. So this door actually turned out really, really nice, except for one thing, and some of y'all probably saw this coming. Of course, this right here, these braces hit the door frame over here and don't allow the door to open all the way like it should. I'm not gonna redo the door. I'll probably end up just cutting something or another off to make it, to make it go a little bit farther back, either this right here at some angle, and this one as well, or I don't know, I'll figure out some solution. But for right now, we're gonna switch gears and do something else. This is the back of the chicken house here, and this is gonna be the chicken yard or chicken run. I've heard it called different things. But anyway, so we need to start digging some post holes. There's gonna be eight posts out here. I've got a 100 foot roll of wire that we're gonna string up back here so to, give the, to give the chicken some space. So let's start doing that. I guess he's out to do his daily inspection. Willie man, what are you doing? You coming to inspect? Does it look okay? No? Okay. Well, that's got my four corner posts up. Let's look and see if they turned out square. All right, so on this side to the center, we're looking at about, whoops, 35 feet and 11 or so inches. And on this side, we're looking at that's uh, 35 10 and a half inches so that'll work um if anybody's wondering this chicken yard is going to be 30 by 20 so they'll have about 600 square feet of space to walk around in what'd you bring me um a cat what's it got in it ice and water well thank you so much why do you have, why do you have that? Those post hole diggers? Yeah. So I can dig post holes? Why? So I can put fence posts in. From that. Tell us what you've done. I got did that yarn. Do you need one 
one right here. Yep, you ready? Hey buddy, what you doing? Wanting me that. You sure are. What what did you plan to do with this? I don't know. Why? I sure do, thank you. Well, that does it for the fencing for the chicken yard out there the chicken run or whatever you want to call it these are the roosting boxes right here nesting boxes and these were salvaged out of the old chicken house as well I'm gonna clean them up a little bit I'll have to shorten it just a little bit to fit in the new house and then we'll get it stuck up So I had to do a lot more modifications on this thing than I originally expected. The original way that I had it, I was going to have it inside or flush with the inside wall and that would have unfortunately left these backs open and I would have had to have put another board along this back right here so that the chickens would have a back to their nesting boxes and the problem with that idea was it was so far in and this board would have been on the back and I would not have been able to see into the nesting boxes. So every time I would have come out here, I would have had a one in five chance probably of getting a snake instead of an egg. So I just really didn't want to, <laughs> just really didn't want to have that uh, going on in this, in this uh, nesting box here. So I did a lot of modifications, didn't film them unfortunately, but long story short, this is in, this is the way it should be. I'll probably end up screwing it down some for stability. But right now what we need to do is get this door in here and the door will serve as the back to these boxes. So that was pretty dumb. I cut that board with the assumption that it wasn't wide enough to fit here in one piece. So let's try the other half of that board and see if it will yeah cool one piece door
So guys, I'm trying my best to figure out some kind of a handle for this. And my first inclination was of course, some kind of a piece of wood, but I'm kind of digging this. Although I can't decide if it's really cool or really tacky. Ooh, that stinks. That ended up working out really good. The latch works fine. Well, now that I say that, I guess if you turn it in the right direction, the latch works good. I put a chain over here so that that wouldn't just flop down. I've got a good handle on it. This is locked into place. These are a little bit flimsy. I don't know how much it's gonna matter, but uh, either way, this is great. The chickens have got a place to nest and uh, I'm gonna move on to something else. It's time for all the professional flooring people on the channel to look away. I'm not kidding, I'm stapling it. So it'll stay down. Somebody on the channel mentioned that putting linoleum down helps keep the chicken coop much cleaner because uh, you can get the chicken poop and stuff off of this a whole lot easier than you can wood. Plus it keeps everything from seeping down into the wood and starting the rotten process. So I thought that was a great idea. So I went to Home Depot and got some remnants and uh, obviously did not get enough. I could have positioned them another direction and only had about a foot or so strip over here left over, but I decided just to do it this way because the chickens are gonna be over here. Their roost is gonna be over here. The nesting boxes are over here and they're gonna go out their door right there. So um, I just kind of decided to, <laughs> so I just, so I just decided to put it over here uh, where all the chickens are gonna be. Sunny right there in their chicken coop. Is the sun shining right there, sir? Oh. I don't know, baby. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Okay. She doesn't know what to do. So much space. <laughs> She's not gonna go past the door. <laughs> what you got? Another one? Number two. This one's still standing here. <laughs> She's coming on her own. You think she's gonna go all the way out there? <laughs> uh, Wrong way, mother hen. Number five's tough. Had to catch her twice. <laughs> when are they to go down the ramp? I don't know, buddy. They may not go down the ramp till tomorrow. Let's just give them some time, okay? We'll see what they're doing in the morning. No eggs yet. 